Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Zeta ZA05 racket from the Armageddon combiner which is obviously obviously their version of a swindle for the Bruticus combiner a masterpiece-esque looking Bruticus so <laughs> yeah I've been waiting for the whole set uh, for a long time this is the fourth uh, figure so far that came out even though it's 05 this is the fourth one fifth one is going to be Onslaught which is um, supposed to come out in uh, two months I think and all your little limbs are already out so this is the last uh, the last limb and then we uh, we need uh, the, the torso Onslaught and we're done so yeah, here's the box. We've got the uh, Hummer because this is transforming into a uh, um, modern uh, Humvee instead of the old Jeep. In front we've got the art. On the side we've got a robot uh, photo. In the back we've got part of a feet. So yeah, combining all the boxes will show up. Uh, uh, we'll make a nice art of uh, Bruticus. So yeah, let's stop wasting time and let's see what's inside And there's nothing else Let's draw this aside. Oh, the box is <laughs> on the other side. So first up we've got instructions uh, Instructions are okay. I haven't had too much problem with it except for one step that are just uh, The order is just weird. So yeah, first up we got, we got the card so it's a nice plastified credit card looking uh, card we do have some specs in the back with photos of jeep mode robot mode in the front we've got the art from the front of the box and it's pretty much it instruction like i said there's uh they, they are good decent transformation uh Focus. Yeah, they are quite easy to follow, except for one step, which, uh, can I see it? Yeah, basically the, the, uh, the feet here, they, they, they tell you to remain, uh, the feet, uh, stuck together to transform into Jeep, but the thing is, uh, you have to bend uh, the back of the uh, truck back into the legs, and this cannot be done on, on, unless you have the legs spread first, so... It's just one step weird, so yeah, in the back, right here, not much else to say about it. So yeah, the transformation is rather easy, but yeah. And here's the phone box. Inside we've got the figure. So let's pull it out. And oink, oink, spread the legs. And we've got Swindle. Now inside the uh, box we do have uh, accessories, the weapons. We also have a tiny bag uh, that comes with uh, antennas and windshield wipers. I'm gonna come back to this since I've already applied mine. So we do have a uh, big cannon. Uh, there's not much details uh, to it. So the cannon just retracts and forwards. There's no locking mechanism nothing at all the peg right here can move uh, down and up we do have uh, missiles or rockets two of them and these can peg on each side of the cannon voila yeah so there's pretty much it and yeah there, there's nothing I, I would have wished if there was like a locking mechanism instead of just sliding but yeah okay and we do have his pistol and pistol has somewhat detail but no paint whatsoever so it's pretty much it for it and uh, the cannon it's uh, a little bit disappointing because you can't put the cannon can we right figure and focus on it we cannot really put the cannon on his shoulders Unless we put it in the peg right here, so we just have to move the arm up and then peg the cannon on the shoulder And can we do it without breaking anything? So yeah, with oops So, so yeah, this is the only way he can hold the cannon or the forearms right here uh, In this peg you can also put the missiles in And the, everything is just really freaking tight except for one thing 
And yeah, I'll come back to this later. So yeah, we do have missiles. We do have the cannon on the arm. And everything just moving. Yeah, right. And yeah, the pistol though, you can hold it in his hand perfectly without any problem. It holds great. Uh, the cannon though cannot be held in his arm, uh, in his hands, because the handle is really freaking small. And the hands just can't, you know, just like this. So it, unless you put the gun, the cannon down like this. <laughs> yeah, this is the only way you can hold the cannon in his hand. So yeah, I'll come back to the cannon in vehicle mode. Can you stand up perfectly? Move this. Put the missile back on the cannon, adjust it, and leave this aside. So, yeah, I showed the uh, gun, so let's remove it. And the figure itself is really freaking cool. Like I said, um, one of the best figures of the low, of the lot so far. Uh, I, would, I love uh, Blast Off and Vortex a lot. Uh, Brawl was my weakest link so far. And from the screenshot that I've seen, um, Swindle was my least favorite for some reason. Like, uh, he was just, I don't know, like, I wasn't expecting too much from him at all. But so far, I am really freaking pleased with him. He is by so far the uh, best one of the lot. Couple of things I don't like the feet, giant jumbo <laughs> feet. Like, it's just, okay, he stands perfectly, that's good. But the feet are just ridiculously big. Next thing that I don't really like, and I'm gonna bring him closer, the face sculpt. It's the the the, 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 the whole laughing thing. He looks a little bit way too happy, like someone's pills just kicked in. Like, <laughs> but yeah, he, he is pretty cool. You know, he, besides this. He is a, a, a really nice figure. The um, articulation and everything just looks, it just is amazing. Uh, color details, even the um, chest plate, we can switch for a uh, G1 esque. So, this is a, my uh, G1 figure. This is my G1 swindle. So, as you can see, both of them do, do share a lot of similarities with the um, chest and crotch plate. It looks really similar. Even the legs with the uh, black and yellow uh, lines. Are represented perfectly here and uh, the purple eyes purple eyes and just pretty much where all the uh, similarity stuff I would have wish a more darker uh, orange like the G1 this is more a uh, desert this is more like I don't know like caramel colored <laughs> still pretty cool but if you want a more uh, cartoon accurate you can open up the chest pull it out rotate it and bring it back up and push it back in for a more windshield look and same thing for the crotch pull it out rotate and pull it back in so now you have the front bumper of the uh, truck as a uh, crotch plate <clears throat> and still pretty cool we do have options so it's really nice that it's uh, greatly implemented uh, just for a comparison let's move this backward we have his buddy Vortex right here. <laughs> Big feet, still managed to fall. So we got uh, Vortex. Uh, we've got Blast Off. Oh man, these are huge. And we've got Brawl. So these are the figures from the set so far that are all out. If you're having trouble, we'll just putting them all on the screen <laughs> yeah they are huge they are masterpiece-esque uh, figures and they look all big chunky <laughs> figures yeah really freaking cool let's move them aside yoink all right so let's uh, move on to the figure itself move the camera yoink so uh head articulation it's on a small ball joint so it can move side to side and rotate perfectly up and down that's cool the arms are on a double swivel so we uh, have the swivel like this swivel like this and another one like this it's just yeah we do have an inch here and a hinge there so we do have both this way and this way 
kind of odd, but yeah. We do have a uh, elbow rotation. We do have elbow joints and uh, well, double uh, forearm joint and elbow joint, which is kind of odd, but it works. <laughs> the hand can swivel left to right. We do have uh, individual fingers, but they all have uh, piano looking uh, playing. <laughs> so just be warm with this. Not a lot of people like this. I don't mind. Uh, we do have a side uh, crunch for the abs, which is kind of odd. No front and back, just side to side, which is really odd. There's no reason for to have it. Yet we do have. It's appreciated. It's appreciated, but uh, this is the kind of pivot that goes in the forearm. So yeah, and he doesn't transform into a forearm. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, we do have uh, legs that move backward, front. If you move the side skirt, you can go further. Do have side with soft ratchet for a split. So this, yeah. We do have a uh, upper swivel at the thighs and a knee bend that goes. Uh, well, it's a double knee joint, so yeah, it does bend a lot. The foot is also on a uh, double inch swivel type of thing, so can move a lot. And yes, pretty much it for articulation. One thing that really bothers me is this skirt. I would have wished it could just locked into place, but it doesn't really, it just moves around. And personally, I like the blue one, so I just switch it all the way around. I like the G1 look. What do you say? I'm a purist. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so swindle in robot mode, pretty much all done. Uh, transformation now. Transformation, like I said, is rather easy. Uh, it's just where uh, I just put uh, fit every panel where they should, and yeah. So first up, let's start with the head. Open the panel up, close the head in, and just as you close it in, just make sure that this lifts it a little bit to get clearance like this and then you can close it back in and snap it in move to the legs legs are the uh, easiest part to do so open up these uh, calf flap move the feet up like this open the antennas if you uh, already applied them move the antennas up now, like I said, the instruction tells you to peg the leg together. Don't do this, you won't be able to transform it. So, <laughs> split the legs, turn the figure around, come to the back panel right here, open it up. And like I said, this is the panel, like, if you have the legs pegged up like this, both panels will uh, block each other like this. So, the legs won't be able to bend it in. So, you have to do it one leg at a time. So, open the panel up, rotate the leg in. Make sure that it's the double joint that follows. Close it in and close the panel. Uh, well, no, don't close it. Just leave it like this for now. Same thing on the other side. So open up the panel. Push everything in like this. Bring the legs together. Now you can peg the legs together. Bring this down. Bring the legs together like this. Bring these uh, feet together so like there's a couple of tabs so just plug it in the connection is really freaking tight so make sure it connects bring these uh, down on these hinge Let's just bring it down and yeah, not that down but yeah like this so that it perfectly uh, sits here like this bring the figure all the way around now you see this panel is open, so bring this uh, calf pad and bring it in and make it square like this and then you can close the panel up like so. Do the same thing on the other side, open it up, close this in, make sure it just sits underneath the knee, uh, knee joint and close it back in. So now you have the back of the truck all done. Which is, uh, like I said, a pretty easy part. Hands now. Uh, pop the hands on these joints out. Like so. 
uh, bring the arm, open up the flap right here underneath, and rotate the hands in, close it in, close this in, open this panel up, and around like this, around like this, and there's a tiny tab right here that will fit inside of the tiny hole. So make sure this goes in like this, and lift, uh, leave this open like this for now. Close the arm in, and flip this open on this uh, double joint. And just leave it open like this for now. Do the same thing on the other side. So bring this open, bring this open, tiny peg hole, tiny peg, bring them in like so. Leave it open, close the hand in this will sort of clip in so yeah and open this double joint and close the arms collapse it together like this so now you get this configuration <laughs> which is kind of odd bring the whole hood down like this and there's uh, two uh, pegs goes with these holes like this and there's a gap right here, so make sure that once it's there, just squish it completely. Like so. It's gonna it's gonna clip and it's gonna clip solidly. Alright. The arms are uh, have a couple of joints, so bring this joint here so that it uh, sits flat on the stomach on both sides, and then rotate them up. Rotate them up. There's like two big holes inside of the forearms and two pegs right here so bring them in together and this is really freaking tight but it works like so there's two tiny um, holes right here that's gonna peg inside of the feet right here so bring these together and like so next up you want to bring these panels down like this and whoops bring these panels down like this and down like this both sides yoink and yoink and now you uh, make sure these are uh, all the way down this is pegged in perfectly and now you have like four tabs right here that's gonna peg inside of the uh, well it's kind of hard but right here there's like four holes yeah right here so peg the windshield in Voila. Make sure everything is pegged in now. The bumper, just everything just on peg. It's just a matter of fitting everything in. It's just like so, like so, like so, like so. Right. Yeah, this part just keeps unlocking. So yeah, now you got you got this panel. So you just pull these side panel rotate it and there's a couple of hooks right here on top and here on the side that's gonna lock everything in like so same thing on the other side pull so, rotate it and clap it in now make sure just everything fits in perfectly like the these parts just likes to pop out hood too so yeah the windshield all right so now it's a big truck all completed and it looks really freaking cool you just have a lot of panel oops can move the camera down so you just have to fit in a lot of the panels open the antennas we do have the uh windshield wipers right here that it can move right here there's a uh air intake for the motor that can open up this is uh, like uh, jeeps uh, when they go in the water if the water level is uh, higher than the motor the motor still needs air to uh, function so this is the air intake of the motor so yeah the more you know <laughs> there's this panel right here that loves to flip around so just make sure that this is opened up like this to make the um, uh, front of the bumper I guess can close the windshields so oh forgot one step oh god Give me so these panels right here just unaccordion them and clip them so just just fills in fills in gaps that will mostly uh, be 
uh, seen in combined mode. But yeah, as you can see, the ro the uh, wheels does uh, turn together. We have some chocks, nice chocks. And focus, please. So yeah, nice chocks. In the back, they're different, but they, they still do the job. The whole wheel is in, uh, in rubber, so yeah, really nice. Cool Jeep, or Umvi. <laughs> you do have a couple of pay, uh, peg holes in on the roof, so you can peg the guns like this, and the uh, giant cannon, open up big, slide it in. My problem is that uh, this one's kind of loose, so. Uh, maybe not in that hole. In that hole, it's super loose. Like, yeah, it's doink. It doesn't even pull a lot. So, yeah. So you do have chocks. Wink, 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 wink. Yeah. The antennas, you can uh, simply just slide them on each side right here. So we just pop them in really easy. Same thing for the uh, uh, windshield wipers. They're just basic plugs like this. So you just slide them in. The only problem with the windshield wipers is in combined mode. These com these uh, wipers gets in the way, and it's really odd. So I'll just move the windshield wiper in. So yeah, like I said, in combined mode, uh, in feed mode, these wipers blocks uh, some transformation. So it's kind of weird that we have to remove them. So I'm, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna remove them permanently. But yeah, otherwise, really freaking nice truck. I uh, do have a lot of panels that uh, have difficulties. Pop, plug it in, but yeah. Cool wheel gimmick. Do have some nice translucent headlights, some metallic, got metallic windshields uh, on the side too. Do have some cool tail lights painted. We still need a lot of paint details. I'm sure that uh, Toy Hacks is gonna do something for it. We do have nice hood. And if you pop this down, you can open up the uh, motor so you can see the inside of the motor so it's really freaking cool now I've seen a lot of people complaining that the uh, bumper uh, pops out but mine it's quite solid it doesn't pop out unless I really press with my uh, force but otherwise it doesn't pop out you just need to make sure that it's uh, connected uh, correctly see it doesn't pop out <laughs> the thing that popped out is these these are not really uh, secured but yeah so yeah cool vehicle mode we can maybe show comparison with his uh, peers and here's the comparison with his peers we've got vortex in vehicle mode yeah kind of big but yeah We've got brawl in tank mode. Now the, the tank is really small compared to uh, the other ones. And we've got uh, blast off in throttle mode. So yeah, the Humvee really stands out as being the biggest vehicle of the lot. So yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not going to show the transformation into a limb mode, although limb mode is just basically taking the truck mode and just, well, yeah, really quick. You just bring the uh, bumper out like this, bring these thing out like this. And like I said, the uh, windshield wipers, this is the uh, thing I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. So yeah, the windshield wipers does get in the way because you have to bring this all the way down like this and uh, tab it. But once you tab it in, this part comes out and this part comes out because of the windshield wiper. You have to pl place these uh, like this. So yeah, it, it kind of you, you can leave it like this. It does, but it's not pegged in correctly. And when you move this all the way around like this. You take this tab here, um, bring it down, take this tab right here, move it up, bring this uh, bumper down, and the there's two peg hole and two peg, uh, two peg hole right here and two pegs right here. This goes over the top 
pegs in. These need to remain here. And tap it in, tap it in. And this is pretty much the leg mode. So it's pretty much gonna clip right here. There's a couple of pegs here for the, the ties. And oh, and right here there's some uh, attachment parts. Uh, real quick. Uh, you flip this open. It's gonna be real hard without a tool. But yeah, you just flip this. Uh, yeah, like this. So there's some tabs here. Close back it. Close it back in. And same thing on the other side. There's a hook right here and a couple of hooks right here. And these are probably gonna peg inside of the uh, the ties. Can we? Uh, yeah. Flip one. Flip two. Peg it in. Peg it in. Uh, open this up again. Open this up again. Use some fingernails. And yeah. Close it back in. Make sure everything pegs in. So yeah, these are the connectors for the leg uh, mode. The, the feet. I don't know how it's probably just going to slide in. But it's kind of really wide for some reason. And this is going to be the back of the leg. And this is going to be the front of the leg. Like this. So this is going to be huge. And there's pretty much the same thing with the same type of pegs. Uh, the uh, hooks on uh, brawl right here. And another one in between the legs. Uh, this one seems tighter. Or, yeah, whatever. So yeah, the same connector. And this goes down. This goes down. So you have another leg done. So yeah, he, he is gonna be a really huge. And this part just, this part is just weird. It just pops out really easily for some reason. But yeah, this is the leg mode. And what? Yeah, I'm gonna come uh, more into details when I'm gonna have all of the figures uh, for hit for combined mode. So yeah. Uh, Pretty much it for a swindle and yeah um he is really freaking awesome uh, the quality is uh pretty much the same as on par as all the of the his peers uh he's a big chunky robot and the vehicle is just one big box and the leg is also one big box but this is what i want and this is what i like about it the uh final combined mode of um uh, Bruticus in the yeah the, the Bruticus in the combined mode is gonna be really freaking awesome and just for the fun of it yoink can we yeah do I have the feet somewhere real quick we have uh, G one Bruticus so yeah the legs does. Maybe the legs right here just to be close. Oh, they just need to be squished. So, squish the leg, get it back in. So yeah, the leg mode. You see where where we're going, you know? <laughs> With a G1 Bruticus, so he's missing a, uh, the, the, yeah, whatever. Still gonna be like a really freaking cool figure. So yeah, I highly recommend this. It's really cheap. It's like 65 bucks US for a uh, masterpiece swindle. It's really freaking awesome. Go and pick it up. I highly recommend it. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.